hello guys welcome back to my channel and uh, today is just a very short video about uh, production of uh, mango so if you are that person who, who is really want or uh, who wants to really start a uh, mango production these are the things that you as uh, the person who wants to fetch a lot of profit through the production of mango should know the first thing that you should consider or the first thing that you you are supposed to know back in your mind is that when you are the seedlings that you're going to use in the uh, field where you, you you have set aside so that you can start a production of mango they should be big enough in size why big enough in size they should be big enough in size because big uh, size of the seedlings increases your chances of uh, getting them to mature to the to the stage that they are going to produce uh, the, the fruits that we are going to sell so ensure this because the tiny one their chances of survival is minimal but for the one which are larger their chances of survival is higher the other thing that you're supposed to consider is that uh, the material that you are using that is now the for the grafted one materials that you are using they are of quality so that it doesn't have uh, maybe carrier of uh, certain diseases or pests or infections that will affect the seedling and uh, you might experience what you call the the rotting of the seedlings in the farm so ensure the quality the material is quality so that it doesn't transfer these uh, consequences or these problems or challenges uh during the after you have uh, done after you have done um, after you have done the transplanting so the other one that you are supposed to be bearing in mind is that the seedlings that you're using to to plant they should be free from pest because remember that some getting rid of some pest is hectic and also you know pest reduce the 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 growth the how the the, the seedling is going to grow so ensure that the seedlings that you're gonna use they are free from pest the other one is that this seedling should be free from diseases because if you are going to plant something which is already diseased meaning even you know when when like for example people when people are sick their output or their productivity goes down the same case with their plants if they are sick their productivity goes down meaning even the utilization of um, the nutrients and minerals in the growing media which in this case uh, soil or uh, any growing media that you have used to plant your mango it will be difficult for them to absorb these uh, nutrients and be able to utilize it can even hinder them from growing to the maturity so ensure that it is a free a, a disease free seedling before you start planting them so these are very simple things but they are very important you know in farming you should be conscious you should be careful before you make any decision and before you start uh, it, before you start investing it is good to be careful although even other types of business you are supposed you are you, you are supposed to be very careful also in farming you're supposed to be very careful don't assume things and uh, start growing because you saw your neighbor growing it or someone be a determined farmer be that smart farmer and you are not going to regret but you will be always smiling because of the output that you are getting so thank you so much i hope this video is going to help you as a mango farmer or any other farmer who wants to start uh, doing it or even you know this quality also applies for other types of fruits so always check out